Don't restrict yourself too much because you probably will spend more than £300 in your first two weeks of uni. I literally spent £500 in a week. People would rather buy an outfit than eat. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've just woken up. I slept in my face mask um, yesterday just because my skin's breaking out a little bit and I just find that when I put some face mask on it it just kind of helps my spots a little bit don't know how well or proven that is to be true but it's currently 10 04 and i'm gonna be just filming a week in my life so this is actually my first ever week of university lectures i filmed on my first day of university which you guys should go and check out on my channel and now i'm filming my first week so this is super super exciting and then now i'm gonna go and make some breakfast so my lecture today actually doesn't start until two o'clock so i tend to have a lion on mondays which is really really nice but i'm gonna go and make some breakfast i think today i'm gonna have baked oats i'm really really craving a baked toast so that's what i'm gonna have today and then i think for lunch i'm just gonna have a pasta salad from asda but if you are new to my channel and you've never seen my face before please make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below we actually upload on this channel every two days on tuesday thursday and sunday at 6 p.m uk time so subscribe for more consistent content we are posting literally my whole university journey my life after uni that is just so exciting to think about finishing uni when i've just bloody got here it's kind of insane but yeah i am just basically documenting my life taking you guys along all the way through it which is crazy but yeah and also make sure to turn on your post notification bell so that you know whenever i upload a new video because i don't want any of you guys missing out on the new content like as soon as the video goes up you should be watching it i'm in the live chat so message assist connect with me all that good stuff don't forget to follow my instagram my snapchat my tiktok it'll be on the screen right now and other than that let's get into the video <laughs> breakfast today i think i'm literally gonna have some baked oats so i've got these two sachets of oats from little and then i've got some chocolate chips some sugar some milk and some eggs i'm gonna put it into this blender which i brought with me to uni and um, it's literally so good for like smoothies and stuff and it comes with two of the spare cups i'm literally just gonna put all of the ingredients into the blending cup and then start blending in here i just added actually another banana two eggs and then some of the chocolate chips but i'll put the rest on after and then i also added some milk so i'm literally just gonna twist this all up and then blend it this is literally the same recipe that i used for um protein pancakes as well if any of you guys were wondering okay and then to actually like bake it i'm gonna put it in this little dish this i got from i want to say asda um but to be honest this liquid today like, the mixture is really really watery so normally it is a little bit thicker but i don't want to eat more than two bags of oats if that makes sense so let's pray it all fits in. I'm literally just gonna clean up all of my mess, wash it all up in the sink, wash that little tray, because we made some brownies yesterday, and also... <laughs> literally been in the oven for i want to say about 10 minutes but i did preheat the oven i forgot to mention that and it's on 200 degrees 
I don't want to open it up because I feel like it actually looks really, really good. I feel like I could have added some more chocolate chips because I feel like it's not going to be that chocolatey, but we will see. How good does that look? <sighs> that actually looks so good. I think it still needs a little bit longer. So I'm going to just reduce the temperature. So I've literally just taken it out of the oven. It honestly looks so good. Like, is it like the perfect golden brown? So I think I'm literally just going to have this with... What am I going to have it with? I think I'm just going to have it with um, some Canadian maple syrup. Today I didn't even add... I forgot to add baking powder and vanilla extract. So if you guys are making it at home, then make sure you add both of them. <coughs> and then... <coughs> Freshest flu is actually killing me. Oh my God. I'm going to make some lemon syrup in the kettle because I am honestly dying. Like, honestly, I don't even know why it's got so bad. It's not even water in there. I don't know how it's got this bad, my freshers, but... I'm really, really struggling out here, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. I was going to pick this bowl, but I chose this bowl. I feel like this bowl is a bit cuter. So I've literally just come back into my room. I've got my little bowl of baked oats and I put some maple syrup in there. I've also got my little um, mug of lemon syrup. And then I'm probably just going to sit here and watch some youtube on here so yeah okay so how has everyone been i hope you guys are all doing super well because honestly i don't know if i've been saying it to you guys but the last couple of days i've honestly felt like agony like not agony as in pain is in like agony as in my throat is so sore mm. these are actually so good to them it literally just tastes like chocolate cake but yeah my throat is in so much pain i don't know like i just feel like this freshest thing is lasting so long like everyone in my flat is sick everyone in my flat has have a little cold got a sore throat like i don't understand what's going on i've had honestly two boxes of lem syrup i don't know what's going on um it's kind of concerning i don't know whether it's like the change of weather is birmingham that much colder than london i don't really think so that is a little bit colder but it's not it's not that bad do you know what i mean so i don't i'm a very i'm just very confused as to how i'm this sick it's actually ridiculous and i hate being sick because i hate like having to carry tissue around it's just nasty like i've been so bed bound that it's to the stage where i've started missing uploads um i really don't like missing upload days many of you guys know i, I post on my channel three times a week why do you try <laughs> and i love doing it like genuinely from the bottom of my heart like a lot of people are like yeah like three uploads a week is hard it, it, it is very hard and i do pat myself on the back when i do do it but it is hard it is stressful and to balance doing that with a degree i am struggling like i'm not gonna lie to you guys and i feel like i should be honest because i don't think it's fair if i literally just post once a week and then i don't say anything like i just feel really really bad and like I, i'm an overthinker i'm a virgo like i overthink everything i do so in my head i'm thinking like i know how it feels because i subscribe to some youtubers and when they don't post on their upload day i'm like where the fuck have they gone do you know what i mean but i am struggling to keep up with it um i don't know how long i will do it for because i'm struggling i know that like one video a week is also very very consistent but i think because i've been doing three a week for so long i'm just so used to it that anything below three is not consistent for me but i am struggling like my schedule my work schedule and my youtube schedule is so like so full and i feel like it's got to the stage where i feel like i don't have enough time to edit my videos anytime i'm editing i just feel like it's so rushed um i don't like doing that like videos can take me like two to a week to edit no no joke and i don't like to be rushed when i'm editing do you know what i mean but 
I feel like I'm, I have to do that. And I just don't want to do that anymore. So I feel like worst comes to worst, we will go to one day a week. But I think it'll be on Sunday. And me saying that, I, I genuinely feel like, I feel like crying. Because I just, from three to one, that's a lot. Do you know what I mean? But if it does happen, you'll see a video on my channel every Sunday at 6pm without a doubt that will be the new upload schedule if i have a bonus upload it'll probably be on a wednesday just to kind of even it out wednesday and sunday but as of right now my upload schedule is still tuesday thursday sunday 6 p.m uk time but if i disappear just know there will be an upload on sunday do you know what i mean but i'm gonna sit eat this drink my lemon syrup to get rid of my sore throat and then i'll probably start getting ready it's currently 11.07 and i'm just gonna munch on this watch some youtube and then i'll start getting ready for the day Baby, it's whatever, or I've literally just gotten out of the shower and just brushed my hair. I didn't want to film me getting ready and like going into the shower because I feel like I've done it a thousand times on my channel. I literally done it in my morning routine video. So go and check that out if you haven't already. Go and check out my preparing the night before the first day of university video. Honestly, I just feel like I'm struggling for videos. In my head, I'm just like, I don't even know what to film. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't even know what to film. And do you know what I'm missing filming? I'm missing filming haul videos. I really want to film some haul videos. Like a lot of you guys know, I absolutely love Zara. I'm on Zara pretty much 24 seven. And I really want to film like a Zara try on haul. I'm going to put my Invisalign in, so I'm sorry if it annoys anyone. I want to film a Zara try on haul, but the thing is, I don't know how like the delivery system works in my accommodation. Like a lot of people have said to me, like, be careful um parcels do get stolen and stuff like that and like whenever i order from zara like i'm spending like 400 500 600 pounds do you know what i mean and i wouldn't want that type of parcel to get stolen like it's a lot of money do you know what i mean i do want to do a zara shop however i'm thinking maybe i should like switch it up and then we could do like a vloggy style one in person like i go into like zara in the ball ring i want to go into h&m and like i show you guys like, what's new in that's what I'm thinking about filming. So let me know if you guys want to see it. Because I feel like I'm due a Zara order. Like, you guys know I used to do literally monthly Zara hauls. And now I'm not doing them. And I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel weird that I'm not doing them. So I'm definitely going to film that. Because I just feel like it's due. Like, I just need to do one. Um, so... I'm definitely gonna do that. I think makeup wise, I'm honestly just gonna do a little bit of eyebrow pencil through my eyebrows. But I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about like budgeting at uni, because I feel like people don't know like how much to spend, blah, blah, blah. And of course, it does depend on obviously your financial situation. Like that obviously is a major factor. Your finances at uni obviously will depend on how much you're gonna spend. So it is kind of difficult for me to say, but I'm just gonna use myself as an example because i just feel like that's the best way i could possibly do it i don't want to offend anyone or say that if you're getting this much you're going to struggle i'm not doing that i'm just going to talk about my personal financial situation i'm personally not working at uni my mum and dad have said to me you know what like you should work you should get a job but with my degree and with my timetable it's very very hard to kind of commit myself to a job because Honestly, my timetable changes every single week, which is kind of annoying. Like last week I was in on Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. This week I'm in on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And the times I'm in changes. And to be honest with you, I don't really want to work on the weekend because I feel like that's my rest period. That's the time where I'm recovering, the time I'm getting prepared for the new week. Again, a job at uni isn't honestly 
gonna fit with my lifestyle if that makes sense i know it a lot of people do like to cram it in or a lot of people do night shifts and stuff like that but i just personally cannot do that not because i don't want to but just because i don't think it will fit into my university schedule i would advise you guys if you have got the time to do it of course get a job it's going to help you with later on later on in life and all that good stuff so 100 percent if you've got the time obviously do it but if you haven't don't feel the pressure to unless your financial situation says otherwise so for me personally at uni i'm just going to be 100 percent honest i as i said before i don't want to offend anyone but my mum and dad are in the situation where they're helping me they are giving me 300 pound a month to spend at university just for my living costs my student finance doesn't cover my accommodation it doesn't cover my living expenses it just doesn't cover anything i'm getting the bare minimum student finance so that should kind of let you guys know what situation i'm in other people are in such a great position where they're getting the full 9k um and that can obviously pay for their accommodation birmingham accommodations are quite pricey if i'm honest like i think my accommodation for the year is about seven thousand, which is insane i think it's actually pushing to eight thousand, which is crazy but um yeah birmingham accommodations are expensive so if you are thinking about coming to birmingham for uni do bear that in mind but i just want to have like an open and honest conversation because i feel like no one likes to talk about money on youtube i don't know why like i don't get it but i just feel like it would help someone out because i know that when i was applying for uni like i wanted to kind of understand the costs of things and like all that good stuff so yeah my accommodation is about seven thousand, um and thank god my family are helping me with that and basically I get £300 a month. I don't want to spend more than £300 a month. Just because of the stuff that I want to do in the future. Like, after uni, I would like to buy my own place. I'd like to move out. So, all of my student finance that I'm receiving, I am saving it for a house or for a flat or just to move out after the three years. A lot of people do look at me and they're like, what do you mean you're saving your student finance? It's literally only £4,000. Would I rather have £4,000 sitting in my bank account or nothing? That's my thought process. A lot of people don't think like that. And I would say that if you are getting £9,000 and your parents are still helping you on top, save the 9K. I would deep it. Over the three years, you're going to save £27,000, 9, 18, 27. You could literally put a deposit on a house. So that's my thought process when it comes to student finance. If you want to move out after uni, save it. Do not blow it. If you are in a situation where you're working or your parents are helping you or friends are helping you, save your student finance, save up for your place after uni. But as I've said before, that obviously depends on what you want to do after uni. Some people, they 100% want to move back home after uni. Some people want to move out straight away. Some people want to get a job. Whatever you want to do, you have to think about that when you're at university. And I think a lot of people don't think about that, which is really, really sad, but I'm saving all of my student finance. I'm using the money that I've saved up myself and also my parents' money. A lot of you guys know throughout the whole of the summer, I worked basically even before summer because I finished college in May and from May, I've honestly been working. I was working through lockdown, as you guys know, as a COVID tester. In the first ever lockdown, I was a care assistant. So I was continuously working. I saved up all of that money. Um, and I think I saved about £2,000. So I came to uni with 2000 And then obviously I get my monthly um, my monthly budget from my parents. Um, so that's my kind of financial situation. Obviously, like I said, my budget might be a lot. My budget might be too small. I don't know. To be honest, if I do the calculation on my phone, I feel like... £300 a month. In a month, there's four weeks, let's just say. So that's £75 a week. Most of that money that I've spent, I've been at uni for three weeks now, and most of the money I spend is going on cab, if I'm being honest. My first ever week, my first ever two weeks of uni, I was obviously going out a lot. It was freshers. It was, you know, I was spending a lot more money. And I think in the first two weeks of uni, don't put too much pressure on yourself with how much you're spending. Just because you've just got to a new city. Everyone wants to go out. Everyone wants to go out to eat, wants to go to the club. Do you know what I mean? 
I feel like once you get to your third week of uni, it's more serious. You've got lectures. People aren't going out every single day. Also, it was my birthday. So I was looking at outfits to wear. I was looking at drinks. I was looking at going out to eat. Do you know what I mean? I had more expenses in the very, very beginning of uni. And I don't think you should put too much pressure on yourself in the first two weeks. You're adjusting. You're making friends. Do you know what I mean? You're going out. You're exploring the new city if you're moving to a new place. So... Honestly, I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourself with how much you spent in the first two weeks. Obviously, don't blow all of your savings if you've come to uni with savings. Like, don't do that. But just don't restrict yourself too much because you probably will spend more than £300 in your first two weeks of uni. And mum and dad, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did spend more than... I literally spent £500 in a week. I'm not going to lie. I'm being honest with you guys. I spent £500 in a week. I look at my bank account and I'm just like, what did I spend it on? Because I didn't buy clothes. I didn't, like, do you know what I mean? I literally don't know. So now I'm a lot more serious. Literally, I'm in person for uni literally one day a week. The rest is online. So otherwise, I'm literally getting cab to uni, cab back. Depending on your campus, your uni will obviously depend. You might be able to walk to uni i take cab personally just because i just don't like working <laughs> i sound so bougie saying that but on a serious note if you drive before uni don't do it like just don't do it because when you get to uni everyone's walking and you're just like i can't be with you like walking to me is like an extra bloody expense that like, it just takes so long i don't enjoy walking it's bad it's so bad don't 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 be a me don't be a me walk to uni save your money because these ubers bolts olas they're not your friend so again most most people their campus is really close to their accommodation so you won't have to get cab but me if i'm being honest with you my money goes on cab and food so i tend to spend about 40 pound a month on food and i'll buy that food once and then like maybe every two weeks i'll just pop to asda and get some more fruit because obviously fruit don't last that long. So I just go get some strawberries, blueberries, banana. That's it, she eat it. So that's my budget. I hope it's made you guys kind of understand. But even that £75 a week budget that I have, I feel like you can honestly do less. Like you won't. I don't think people will spend up to £75 a week at uni. In the beginning, I will say, yeah, you will. But if you know that, for example, at the end of the month, you want to go to Zara, you want to do a big splurge, then obviously you can save more money. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just, I feel like £75 is enough. It's more than enough, to be honest. Like I said, please don't use mine as something that you should follow. I'm just letting you guys know because I feel like it is helpful to know what people's budget is at uni. People don't talk about it. I just wanted to say it because I want to know what I look back on and see how much I'm spending. It is a lot of money. But at the same time, I feel like I'm spending money on medication. As you guys know, I'm sick. So I'm constantly buying Lemsip. I'm constantly buying Suvers, Strepsils. That stuff you're not going to be buying on an everyday basis. Do you know what I mean? So like Neurofen, Paracetamol, like everything that I came with is finished because of Freshers Flu. Um, some people might have to spend some money on the bus pass. I'm personally not spending my money on the bus fare because I'm literally going into uni one day a week and it actually works out cheaper if I get the bus and just pay instead of getting the bus pass, if you know what I mean. So, again, it depends. If you're going to work at uni, you might have to get a cab there or a bus there. So, do look at your calculations, look at your spending. If you're buying makeup, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? That People have different budgets. I'm just giving you different examples of the stuff you might want to spend. For example, I bought a whole case of water. No, I think I bought three cases of water. That cost me like, I want to say like eight pound. Do you know what I mean? But that's going to last me more than a month. Do you see what I'm saying? So it just depends on your situation. Some people, you might want to buy LED lights one month. You might want to buy a top from ASOS. So I'm just giving you guys some examples. You might want to get your eyelashes done, your nails done. So those are the stuff that kind of mess up your budget. So do bear in mind, if you're getting, I don't know, £200 a month and you want to do your nails, you want to do your toes, take away that from your £200 a month a month budget because obviously it's not going to be 200 pounds anymore obviously do prioritize the stuff that is more important for example water like food people would rather buy an outfit than eat i'm not joking 
people would rather go to a motive than eat. As in, there's no food at your com, but you're still going out. That, to me, I don't understand. Please prioritise yourself and prioritise what needs to actually be done and what actually needs to be bought. I hope I've helped you guys out. That, that took me quite long to explain, but I didn't want to offend anyone. I just want to kind of let you guys into what I'm doing with my life, what I'm spending, because I feel like it's best to just have the open conversation. Honestly, there's no point sugarcoating anything. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to do my eyebrows and then I will talk to you guys after. So for those of you wondering if you want to know what work I'm doing, I'm literally doing some foundation subject audits and basically it's just basically like a questionnaire um, where they just want to kind of find out what knowledge you have right now, whether you're going to be able to teach it in the future, what you need to develop on and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I was literally just doing a history and an art one and I stopped doing history in year eight. I just thought it was so boring same with art like art i just feel like i'm not a creative person like i don't know like when it comes to drawing putting things down on paper like from my brain to the paper i just can't do art i just was not blessed in that area of study that like i wish i was more creative i wish i could draw i wish i could do all of that good stuff but i'm just not like there used to be a girl in my class isabel strange if you're watching this isabel strange i love that girl to bits she could draw anything anything and i just don't get it same with art like i used to think to myself like i don't know how in gcse they would ask people to draw let's say they say draw a woman i would draw a woman she would draw a woman and they'll be like, yeah, you fell, she passed. Like, how, if art is about creativity, then how are you marking it? Do you get what I'm saying? And I feel like I had a lot of friends, they done art for GCSE and they failed. I don't get how you can fail art. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's about creativity, it's clearly not. <coughs> because everything should be from the eye of the beholder. Beauty's an eye of the beholder. You could draw literally a line and you could analyze and say that is a person. Do you know what I mean? And you still felt how? It's crazy. I don't understand the education system. I'm trying to understand it. And that's why I went into this field because I feel like I've had a lot of bad experiences throughout secondary school, a lot of bad teaching. And I just want to change that. I want to be able to really develop my knowledge. I want to be able to become more creative, especially with art. Art is an area of study where I just think I don't know anything. Same with history. I thought history was so boring i do want to change my mindset on it i do want to genuinely go deeper but um yeah so i'll show you how many i have got to I've do just now. in the history one i've finished the art one i've got computing dt foreign language geography music p and rv to do so yeah that's what i'm doing now okay so i literally just went to the kitchen i think for lunch today i'm just gonna have this chicken and bacon pasta salad these are honestly so good and then i also just done a bagel in the toaster i just put some butter on it i think this is going to be my lunch for today does anyone else have this strange obsession with bagels i don't know what it is about it but at uni this is literally all i'm eating the other thing is bagels they last so much longer than bread like Bagels are a type of bread, but these are expired. These expired on the 30th of September and they're still going strong and there's no mould. I was literally just watching some haul videos on YouTube. I was looking at some of the new in bits from Zara and from H&M, trying to get in my autumn winter fashion wardrobe all in check and then i started heading off i literally booked my cab it was in two minutes i had to rush downstairs
We're back, oh yeah. Then I had a 10 minute car drive to my campus in Adbastion. My lecture today started at two o'clock and then it finished at four and then we had a 30 minute break so the next lecture is at 4 30 to half past six so here's me just tapping in looking for my lecture hall i honestly feel like i haven't got any lectures i feel like all of my like degree is all seminars because there's literally only 30 of us in the classroom but our first one was maths this was us in maths here okay so we've literally just finished our lecture the first one is it a lecture not really i'm just gonna call them more seminars to be honest when the shop which one do you think is better they both look so good they both look gross <laughs> It tastes nice, though. That one. What is the shit? I don't want free trainers. Get them. You're gonna get free trainers? <laughs> <laughs> Smile. <laughs> We're outside and. We're on our break now. We've got our next lecture at half past four and then we finish at half past six. We just had maths. We're about to have English. To be honest, how are you finding the course so far? It's all right. Yeah. What did you say? It's not worth it. Do you think? No. I think it's too hard. Fucking count to five. No, it's true. We literally spent the last two hours counting. Um, watching number blocks. Yeah, watching what number is? blocks for literally five year olds. That's what we literally done for the last two hours. <laughs> Same. Uh, I thought there was, she was going to play number jacks as well, but um, no. Um, but yeah, we've got English, so I'll let you know how that goes. In after. my 20 years of living, I've actually never had a Starbucks caramel frappuccino. So I thought I'd try it out today because Paige always gets these and I thought I would try it. And honestly, I absolutely loved it. It was so nice. Um, so I literally just had this while walking to my next class with Paige and Olivia. They got this a quick change, so we like a mid face. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist right. I see you all private. Keep celebrating me. After my English lecture, I actually took a stroll to Morrison's, which is actually just down the road from the uni. And I just picked myself up some strawberries and bananas because I had run out of all of them in my accommodation. By the time that I had got home, it was already half past seven, so I just chucked in a pizza. Hi guys, so it's the next morning. I have literally just woken up. I have chucked a blanket around me because my dressing gown's in the wash. Um, and I've literally just started my lecture. <clears throat> me currently, um, I've got a lecture from 10 to 12. So I'm just doing it for my bed. I think it's literally just like an assignment briefing. So I'm just gonna take some notes on my laptop. Um, I did make some baked oats, which you guys have seen yesterday, and I just halved it. So this morning I'm gonna have the rest of it. Gonna make myself a cup of lemon sip as well, because obviously my throat is killing me. Um, and that's about it. All I've been doing is literally making 
this thumbnail this morning i've watched some youtube i've also watched a um it was like a live prayer session yesterday i don't know if they've deleted it they might have deleted it um uh, trying to find it for you guys yeah they don't save their lives but it's by uh transformation church if any of you guys are wondering if you're looking for a church in a new city occasionally they do like midnight prayer services and they're actually so cool but i'm literally just chilling here on my laptop in my team's meeting right so i've literally just gone out the shower i think i'm actually going to change the covers on my duvet because i think i've had these on for about a week now so i'm going to change all the pillowcases and the uh bedding and then i think later on we're going to do some bacon with my flatmates hey guys hey me guys, and naomi to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, I look. I um <laughs> this is naomi my flatmate hey guys. my best friend if someone asks you who's your best friend you can say me cool. she's lying <laughs> no, no. she's lying <laughs> but on a serious note i didn't think I didn't think we'd get along as much as yeah, we, we did. did. As, as we did? I said we did, but like we argued <laughs> as much as we do. Um, do you know what it is? It's because we were the first ones to come into this flat and it was just only us two. True. Like, just... Very, very true. Really um, so, out of boredom, we're going to make some brownies. I'm also going to make some dinner because I'm hungry. Um, so, yeah. Let's, let's make it. I've got, let me see, I've got one. This is Lara. Um, I don't know what video is going up first, that's why I'm just introducing you guys in the video because I don't know what video is going up. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to go up. I'm trying. I'm editing it now, but I don't know if it's going to go up. What bowl do you think I should use? Because I need to clean them. The big one or the small one? The big one. Right. I should have pasta bake. 
I hate pasta bake. Oh my gosh, I hate it. Why? Oh no. There's no meat in it, just cheese and tomato. Yeah, tomato just cheese. cheese. Oh. Whoa. So this is step one, guys. Can you crack this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So should I crack it in there or should I crack it in a different? I don't know. <laughs> Stir brownie. No, just all together. Okay. Just all together. Alright, that's first step done. Do you know what's bad? I'm so used to walking around with no shoes on at home that I just do it here. Look at my eye, look. My eye is too Why? Maybe, did you not sleep yesterday? Oh, I did. Do you know how many hours I slept for? Or how many? Two minutes. Sorry. Yeah, but you said you woke up at six. No, I woke up, yeah, I woke up at six, went back to bed. I woke up at, um, my mum called me at 12. And then realised I was sleeping. So then I went back to sleep. Oh. I woke up at three. It was two, two eggs, wasn't it? Yeah, two eggs and then a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Melted or hard? Oh, I don't know. I thought that was melted. Do you? Yeah. We'll just whack it in the microwave otherwise. Um. Oh yeah, melted butter. All right. We'll just put it in this bowl. Um. How much? Eighty grams. What is eighty grams? Um. Hmm. We'll just guess. We'll just guess. Yeah. Which one that is? That's like. I say all of that down. No? No, that's not. That's not more than 80. So, what do you think it is? Um, maybe another scoop of that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say um, 80 grams. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This is what we're doing. Whack it in the microwave. Right, dinner. What are we having for dinner? Should we? Okay, I'm gonna vlog tonight. What? What are we going to do? We're going out tonight, guys. And I'm gonna. And I'm gonna be sober. Tell time. everyone what happened to you. Why I'm not drinking? And guys, I have um, this thing called a strep throat, and so I'm on penicillin right now. Can you shout a bit? Because I'm for it. I'm on penicillin right now. <laughs> And I'm on penicillin right now, um, so I can't mix alcohol and antibiotics. So today we're going out, and I'm not going to be drinking, and I'm going to be sober there. Wrong time. To be honest, the issue is we don't even know what it is. We don't know if it's a game tonight, if it's a drink up like last time. We don't know because the last time we had a game tonight, we done it in a kitchen where no one was, and. The kitchen door got locked so that everyone... like nobody lived in that whole flat yeah so it was like anybody flat. could go in but the, and so we end up going to that kitchen and we, like whatever we were they trashed in. the place not me not me not naomi but yeah. everyone else they trashed the place and then the, yeah. they, they locked the door and my friend's glasses is in there canisters are in there drinks is, is in there is games card? games cards all of the games that we all brought like card games you know blackjack all in that bloody flat we cannot go to reception and ask them to open the door because they'll be thinking more like more you and they're probably there. gonna find us if they're watching this video they're not finding me we're so screwed not <laughs> me we don't live there it's not our it's not our accommodation it's someone else's so it doesn't really concern us um i'm pouring the butter in would you like to do the first stir got my little wooden spoon i feel like a proper baker I'm a proper baker. I make yeah. when just randomly. I, I normally when at home. I normally bake like a twelve. Do you? Like nice enough. You don't look like that soft. much mixture, guys. Oopsies. Don't look that much. I might just have a little corner. Do you like a little corner? It depends on which one. I've got the digestive ones and the strawberry shortcake. Oh, I like the strawberry shortcake. Do you want that? Yes, please. I'm still thinking what am I gonna eat tonight? <laughs> Stop. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know what I'm gonna eat because I don't have many options. I literally just have my freezer. Oh, this actually smells really nice. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you what Naomi's up to. Oh, it looks good. I don't know. I bought this tin. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Do you think? Yeah, it'll fit. It'll just be really thick because I wanted to make banana cake. That was actually what I wanted to make, but I thought that's a bit of effort. Like, I don't know how to make banana cake. Oh, can you? Can we please make that? Yeah. Next time we go shopping, because I actually really like banana. You know cake. what? I can make apple crumble. Oh, I love. You said that already. No, I'm not yeah. joking, no. <laughs> oh my Rebecca, god. My apple crumble is actually out of this world. But yeah, got this. This was only like two pound fifty. You see, but I don't like buying the ready-made ones because I know, but it's weird. True, but I just thought that I don't know. Out of boredom. No, you know what? This could actually taste nice. Like really it looks nice. good. Yeah, it looks nice and smooth. But yeah, um, I think it says we need to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to chuck that in the bin. Should gonna I, s What? Do you want to stir? No. Time, or should I just chuck it in? Just chuck it Wait, in. Wait, you need to put butter around this bin. Oh, I just put the butter away. Oh, why did that something feel like it was falling? Right. <sighs> How do you put butter? You know what? If only we had one of those brush things. Oh, I used to have a brush. Or you can get a chunk of it and just rub it with your hands and throw the rest of it. No, I think I've got a brush in my room. Really? Guys, I've got the brush. Um, We're going to melt some more butter. Or do you think... Oh, I don't think that's anything in there. Do you think that'd be enough? No. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll melt a little bit more. And then we're just going to do the dish and then we're done. Yeah, I just. Do you know what it is? Uni, uni can literally make your diet go like from zero to one hundred. Hundred percent. If I didn't buy, what's it called? If I didn't buy um, frozen veg. What? Look at my stove, please. Yeah, everyone cheating. <laughs> put it back in your cupboard. But when yeah. yours finishes, I'll put. Yeah, you know what? Pot. I feel like everyone goes in my. Because they seem to put it well, now I seem to put it in my cupboard. Put what? My soap in my cupboard. No, but she has that thing. Oh, that's right. So. Jeez, that's so much. Alright, I'm literally just putting the brush on the tray. Just buttered it all. Like that. Do you think that's enough? Yeah. Right? Naomi? Do the honors. Look at us with our COVID test. We are, look at, this is what yeah. Naomi went to go bring for us. So rapid. I thought you, all right, I'll fit then. Yeah. Wait, oh. I'll pour all of it. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> Don't you think this tin is a proper good like, banana bread tin? Yeah, this is what they use for banana bread anyway, isn't it? Yeah. I have this one at home. Or if those bananas go rotten, then we can use that. Yeah. It's better when it's like that, though. When it's like all rotten. Not rotten, but like, you know, when it starts to have black spots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! Hey, guys. So I'm just putting this into the oven. Oh, let me take that out. You guys can't even see what I'm doing, but I'm literally just putting it in and do it up. And we're in. Gonna set the timer for, I'll put it for 20 minutes. 15? I'll do it for 18 first. Yeah. It says 20 to 25, but I don't wanna risk it, so if it burns, we're in trouble. No, we'll keep on checking it. Woo! We're done. How'd you feel? I'm about, I feel tired. I still feel hungry. I don't even know if I'm hungry. I'm like, I don't know. No, I'm starving. Okay, I'm gonna um, make food. <clears throat> guys, we've just got it out of the tin. Look how good that is. We're gonna cut it now. What the hell? What? No, Larry, we done good. I know, I know. <laughs> still, it does a bit there. Guys, trying the brownie. Ready? Three, two, one. I just had a bit out of a burnt milk. 
I think it's still good though. I think it's actually not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. I like it. Mm. I'm getting more chocolate cake than brownie, but it's still good. I think they should have taken it out a bit earlier. But I think I'm eating the end, so that's probably well. No, we're done good. And then I actually started getting ready for a motive, which I completely forgot to film. But I do hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.